All right, here we are in Williston, North Dakota. This is a really super cool project that we're just finishing up. We're getting ready to roll down the last coat of urethane. Clients here, Mickey, what we did is uh, rolled down epoxy and uh, put these um, newsprints into the floor, clear coated epoxy back over them. We're getting ready to put our final coat of uh, impact sealer. So, friend Julie Kirk did this amazing hole in the ground, their canyon. So we're getting ready to clear coat that. And this is just a really spectacular project. <clears throat> in here is the bathroom. This was all acid stained, by the way. And a real talented artist. Sorry the lighting's so bad in here. By the name of Mickey Harris came in and did some really cool airbrush. Our scope of work was all of this acid stain and all of the concrete countertops, so we'll show you that in a minute. But uh, it's too bad the lighting's bad because <clears throat> got some really interesting effects. Check this out. How cool is this? It's supposed to be some ancient ruins here. <clears throat> Sorry. Let me come over here. Kind of see some of the effects we got with the stains. Gigantic vein coming up the middle of the floor here. This was all done with acid stains and dyes. Give you an overall perspective of the project. Show you our countertops in just a moment. And transitioning from one color to the next, from an acid stain to a dye. And then look at this room with basically the maps. Really neat project. So I'll be doing an article on this project. You might want to check that out here in the next several weeks <clears throat> on concretenetwork.com. You can read about it, read about the products that we used, and all of the cool techniques that were used as well. Now, let's check out our countertops that we did. This was probably the most innovative sink we've ever done. This is what's referred to as an erosion sink. Um, a lot of form work. We did some acid staining on it yesterday and sealed it. That's the erosion sink. And then over here, we've transitioned into cast in place. So we've embedded certain decorative elements into it. Expose the concrete edge there. <clears throat> it's kind of neat. This is all cast in place, so we were able to create um, kind of a fissured vein look, embedded some agates and some minerals into it. Nice textured edge that we got. And then the same thing over here. So did some cool staining here as well. And it's kind of a challenge to do these embedments into fresh concrete and get them to flush out. But uh, we were able to pull it off. Interesting look here. Nice sink. We actually poured the concrete with the sink in place here. Do some really nice effects on this. When the sun comes up here, this turns, lights it blue. Uh, embedded that. Some really interesting effects all done here, cast in place. <clears throat> and then the last one, we're really pretty stoked about how this came out. Again, nice and flush, almost like a marbleized look. So this was a, a really fun project to be involved with, and we're getting uh, ready to wrap it up here. So we made a bunch of different transitions here. Look at those colors we got on the floor here. All done with acid stains. So this was fun. And uh, stay tuned for the next project. See you later.
Here's our spectacular crew, too. Hi, Dave. Hi, Leanne. You guys ready to put that last coat of urethane down? Hi, Mickey. There's the, uh, the client. So, anyways, stay tuned.